everyone, Eric here from Mapfix. Back at I got you another video today. Um, this is actually about Windows 11 in S mode. We're going to show you how to, to get out of it. And you're probably wondering, well, what is it and why do I even want to get out of it? Well, let's go ahead and actually get right into it. So we have here, we're just going to go pretty much just like a new laptop, right? Um, just brought it home. So we're going to just go to Google and we want to just put on like Chrome or something, right? So let's go ahead, see if we can download some Chrome. Wait, Cyberpunk, we're not downloading Chrome, you know? We're actually going to go ahead and see if we can download some Chrome. So we go here, and and it says to finish installing Chrome, you need to switch out of S mode. Now, we also have a printer that's giving us the same problem, too, because we're actually trying to install one of our uh, clients that have a printer that they actually want to go ahead and install, too. It's going to give a problem as well because they're .exe files. So what what's going on here? And well, actually, Chrome is the one that's going to give you all the information here. It's telling you to finish installing, you need to switch out of S mode. Like, well, what's that? What, why is that? What am I, what's going on? I just bought a computer. Why do I guess switch out with something else? What's, what's going on with it? So what you want to do, you want to go to your search here and you want to hit activation. Oops, I put action, <laughs> not the action. So then you'll see something called activation settings here. You go there and you'll see that this is Windows 11. It says an S mode and S mode. What does it say here? S mode allows verify microstore apps for security, speed, and simplicity. So it pretty much locks you into the store, downloading all the apps just to go to the Microsoft store, um, which is down here if you actually see it. And that's usually the icon that usually just come up, or you can search it for Microsoft Store app. So if you want to download or do anything on this computer, you have to use Bing, Edge, or anything else that you want to do through Microsoft. You got to use all the Microsoft apps, or if it's available in the store, you got to go through the store. We want to switch out of that because we don't want that. We want to actually be able to use our computer um, in a way where we can download more stuff. Now, um, S mode is good because it does, especially if it's more for like kids or for, for people that you want to make sure or maybe, or people who aren't super tech savvy because it's going to help prevent viruses, right? Or extra things from, I wouldn't say really necessarily prevent viruses, but it does help lock it down better. So you're not downloading things from external sources and it's just going to lock down the computer a bit better. So it's a little bit more safer in that way. So we're going to go ahead and open to the store here. Now it's going, to, it's going to prompt you right there. It says you may want to think twice, blah, blah, blah. It's going to give you a warning. We don't really care about the warning because we bought a computer so we can use out of it. And it's going to also show you too, like in S mode and out of S mode, but we don't want to do that. We want to completely switch out. So we're going to hit get here. Okay, and it didn't, it says working on it. It says you are all set. You have switched out of S mode. Now you can install apps from outside the store. So let's go ahead and see if that's actually true. And let's talk a little bit about Snapdragon apps there. I can definitely make a separate video about that because that's a different architecture in general. Um, because um, there are some surfaces that actually do have um, with Snapdragon processors in it. So it's a little bit different. So it won't be x86. That's a completely different video. But let's go ahead and try it now. We actually go here, go back here, and we see a Windows 11 Home. And that's good. So the activation stage is active and everything looks to be fine, right? So let's go ahead and try to install Chrome again. Let's go ahead. We can download. We already downloaded the XE, but we'll just show you here how it's not going to say it anymore. Well, it does say it here more, but that doesn't matter anymore because it's probably still like the cookies and stuff, right? So let's go ahead and see if we can download it this time. So we're going to go ahead and click it. Install now. And it should be totally fine. That's just probably because <laughs> it was shown it before, but... Uh, you know, because I just hit the back button. It still thinks I'm in the S mode. So, but that's just a prompt for the page. It's probably like default web browser. Okay, so we're gonna download this complete there. Waiting to install. Installing. And that's great. It's installing. That means everything is working fine. So I think that's really about it, huh? Okay, and we see Chrome is loading. It came up, and there you go. It's fully installed. So that's how you get out of Windows 11 S mode. All right, so anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on how to get out of Windows 11 S mode and make your computer a functional, fully functional laptop again. If you like this video, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. See you guys next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.